uh, let's put it this way, any food that is attractively packaged and that is something that you possibly could have cravings for, tend to be ultra-processed. Certainly whole foods are much better because whole foods contain all the nutrients that will be beneficial for our body and especially the one nutrient that most people are most deprived of, fibre. Besides fibre, whole foods contain micronutrients like minerals, uh, vitamins that are good for the functioning of our cells and organs. Identify whole food, right? Whole food that's not processed, like fruit and vegetable in its natural form, you can identify. Minimally processed food, you probably can also recognize, like dried beans, barley, oats, brown rice, white rice, which will make for uh, healthy ingredients uh, for your meal preparation. So minimally processed food is fine. Processed food that has undergone many processes until it is really far away from its natural form, especially when they contain uh, chemicals that we don't eat in usual uh, food. Chemicals such as additives, preservatives, emulsifiers, anti-caking agents, colouring and so on. Now, those really are deficient of nutrients and eating them is not going to do your body any good because you actually will be starved of the necessary nutrients uh, that are needed for the functioning of your body, especially fibre again. Uh, let's put it this way, any food that is attractively packaged and that is something that you uh, love very much and possibly could have cravings for, tend to be ultra-processed. Hi, I'm Dr. Ng Li Bing, a senior family physician from Singapore General Hospital. <music>